morning from Reno Mafana National Park in Madagascar. This is Sisfaka lemur with a little baby. You can just see it there behind us. In this video, we are in Rana Mafana and going to Anja, which is a private community run reserve for ringtail lemurs. And this video is all about wildlife videography. Wow, let's go. <laughs> What is this? This is a waist with a zebu. So we are in Reno Mafana National Park. We've met a local guide named Lantu and uh, he is taking us on a three hour hike on the Talata Kelly Trail. Talata Kelly, that's right. And so far it is like pure rainforest. What do you think? Yeah, it's like pure rainforest. That's what I think. And uh, looking forward to seeing some lemurs. Part of the rainforest and there's a sifaka lemur sort of up in the trees above us and this is really the only good view because it's totally covered in leaves and and sticks and it's hard to find a perfect window but when you do obviously wildlife photography and video you want to have a telephoto if you don't have one try and rent one um, and the idea is to to get to about a maybe 200 millimeter focal length and low f-stop high shutter speed you know, balance it out with a high ISO and try and get your shot because you don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna try and get the CFAC and lemur right now. My pro tip for wildlife photography and videography, and I think you probably already know this, but get up early, super early. Animals are most active in the wee morning hours as well as at dusk. And the amount of tourists that just showed up at like, I don't know, probably eight was insane. So I'm so happy that we got going really early this morning and had about an hour uh, to ourselves. <laughs> golden bamboo lima. It's uh, only found here in Ranmafan National Park. It was discovered in 1986. 1986. Wow. So and today special. we have lucky to find that one because uh, only found here. Yeah. I'm very glad to show you the golden bamboo lemur. Amazing to see the golden bamboo lemur. And Lantu just told me that the National Park Ranamafana was created because that species was found only 32 years ago. Incredible. There's still so much left to be discovered about Madagascar flora and fauna and uh, its endemic wildlife species. So we're here at the Bellevue lookout point and uh, a mongoose, a ring-tailed mongoose just showed up. I think it's probably looking for some food. So the idea is to get low, really, really low um, with certain wildlife because if you're on eye level or even below them, you're less threatening and there's a better chance that they're not going to just run away. Mm -hmm. 
So we're down here at the river Namuruna. It's a little loud, so I'll try and keep my voice up. But uh, Lantu has found a pygmy a nose, horn. nose horn chameleon. This thing is so tiny. It's got to be the size of like my thumbnail. So we're going to see if we can get a photo of it and a little bit of video as well. And we're back. What an amazing like five hours almost in Ranamafana National Park. Uh, thank you, Lantu. Say thank you so much and they have a good continuation. Thank you in so much. Madagascar because it was very enjoyable for me. Like Lantu has just made this experience so much easier for us and he knows what to look for. He knows the bird sounds mm -hmm. and the calls and all the lemur species, so really cool. cool. Where are we going next? We're going to Andra Park, which is a private uh, private park, not a national park, but a private park. Yeah, a community run lemur reserve, I think. So I'm excited for that. Very cool. We go to Andra? Yeah, let's go. made it to Anja Park. Anja is a community-run reserve. Uh, it's about three hours from uh, from Rana Mafana, and it's a completely different landscape. Here they have a big, big collection of ringtail lemurs. So very much looking forward to seeing those. Haven't seen any yet. This will be the first time. Okay, we made it. Good driving. Yeah, I'll see you in two hours. Okay. So another good trick for wildlife videography is if you have a still camera, uh, here I'm using the 5D Mark III with the 70 to 200. The 5D actually has a uh, video function right beside the camera function. So what I'll do is I'll set up my shot as a photograph and then I'll switch into video and immediately stay in that same spot and try and get a couple seconds of video footage with the same profile as the photograph and it usually turns out really really good so we're going to do that right now with the chameleon come take a look at this so we shoot the photograph first get a nice shot and then switch to video mode just here and then it's automatically in video mode find my chameleon again and then i can record two seconds with the camera. So our partner here in Madagascar is Mora Travel and Mora Travel is promoting ecotourism and sustainable tourism experiences and right here in Anja Park is a perfect uh, opportunity to showcase that. It's a community run organization where they protect the ringtail lemur species that live just on the base of all these rocks. And what that does is create sort of a green factory for jobs for the local community. So not only will you have guides, but you also have spotters, you have people building the infrastructure, there's restaurants providing food, people to guard the parking lots, and uh, all of that is to protect these guys and build jobs for the local community. And that is the place uh, which the people, the community, uh, protect the wildlife, fauna and flora since 20 years ago till now. So we are leaving the Anja Park now and uh, hopefully I get the chance to put the drone up in the air. Um, drone regulations here in Madagascar are extremely strict, but because this is private land and a community-based tourism organization, they have given us the permission to fly the drone. So I'm very excited to get some of the footage from the air uh, because I've had the drone with me the whole time, but I haven't flown once here in Madagascar. 
So I'm very much looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, another awesome experience in a nature park and some more wildlife tips and tricks. I hope you guys have enjoyed that and taken some of that away to put into use in your own wildlife photography and videography. Um, it is, you know, I think the most important ones are the telephoto lens, um, switching to 4K if you have that availability on your camera, uh, then zooming in and cropping in post, um, as well as finding a local guide or being in a reserve area where it's relatively easy to access the wildlife. Then of course being quiet, which I'm terrible at, and taking your time, also pretty bad at, um, are big helpful uh, tips as well. So yeah, super fun. I definitely enjoy taking wildlife photos and, uh, and more and more wildlife video. And it is something, yeah, that I like sharing with you as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. But let's go get the drone up in the air and then we'll sign off from this video. an awesome drone flight that was so happy to get the drone up in the air for those of you who watch the channel regularly that is actually only the third time i've flown the new mavic 2 pro so very happy to do that here in madagascar drones are highly regulated here which is why i have not been flying in the previous three videos however at a privately owned location here in anja the community-based tourism if you get permission from the owners then it's fine to put it up in the air and that's what i got and that's what we did so i hope you really enjoyed that footage this is also the end of the fourth video here in Madagascar, the wildlife videography tips and tricks. Hope you've learned a little bit something from uh, our experience here in Anja with the ring-tailed lemurs and also in Ranamafana National Park. Wildlife videography is something that is relatively new for me. I do try and do as much of it as I can when I travel. Um, however, you know, you're always sort of learning and evolving yourself. So the trick at the end of the day is to get out there, go into your uh, local nature reserve, you know look for a local guide if there is one and uh, and try and get some shots for yourself so as always I hope you've liked this video thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one here in Madagascar